Well, happy Friday, YouTube. It's Michelle, and it is Friday, April 8th, and I wanted to do a video share um, of what I have been journaling for Bible scavenger hunt number two. So, um, Jamie uh, Port Spice is giving us prompts during April just to help uh, motivate our Bible study and um, I decided to play along. So first off, I do want to apologize. I fell off the uh, video wagon uh, during Bible Scavenger 1. I think I got up to 23 but did want to show you kind of what I did. Uh, so this was day 23. That's the last one. We had to do a word garden and I actually literally took that very literally and I did a garden and just talked about um, the vine and the gardener and made a little scene here uh, with some words uh, that just encouraged me and then um, for day 24 it was music and so I picked Judges 5-3 which was Deborah and she said I will make you music to the Lord so that was in Deborah's song after she had won the battle for Israel um, then 25 was talking about gifts and talents, and so I used 1 Peter 4, 18, and just saying that we, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. Um, verse 26, I'm sorry, day 26, was our favorite proverb, and I love Proverbs 18, 20, Proverbs 18, 22. It says, a fool finds... No pleasure in understanding, but delights in airing his own opinion. And I just love that because I think sometimes uh, I can get caught up in arguments. And the bottom line, you know, unless it's a issue of salvation, it's just my opinion. And that just helps me keep that in check. Day 27 was our favorite psalm. And I chose Psalm 125, 1 through 3 which is those who are one and two, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. Uh, day 28 was faith, and honestly, I just love Hebrews 11. Um, that whole chapter is talking about, I just call it the wall of faith, or just all of the patriarchs and, and matriarchs who um, died faithful, and although the promise was far off, that they still hold, held to that promise, and how here we are, we are the promise, and how sometimes I can be of so little faith. So that was that encouragement. And then day 29 was... Um, our all righty had to pause there one of uh my tenants brought in some dunkin donuts so i had to get a donut <laughs> so day 29 was the um letter to ourselves so i said to michelle yesterday today and tomorrow and just encouraging myself uh that you know i'm always going to have to find fun things to do to keep me engaged um, in the Bible. So let's look at our Bible scavenger hunt number two. So um, this is what I'm doing and this is still this is a bow bunny um, binder and I just happen to have uh, some of the filler pages uh, for it. So that's what I'm using to journal. And so we start out with trust. Um, on April 1st, it was, and I used, took, found the definition in the verb of trust, and I picked Isaiah 30, 15, and just in the middle it says, in greatness and trust is your strength. And just remembering that my trust in the Lord has to be my strength, not my own talents or knowledge. Um, on day two, I made a little, uh, this was a tea bag from tea that I received in a pocket letter from Australia, and I just thought that was cool. So I put a little tag here, and I reminded myself of an incident that ha happened in the fall of last year. And um, the prompt for day two was Passover, 
and um, that's what this says there. It's Passover. You can't read it. Oops, sorry. But the um, incident just really, uh, we had uh, something happen in the neighborhood, and literally the danger came up to the door, and I truly felt like angels had taken hyssop and lamb's blood and, you know, marked our door frame and so the danger did not come in so that's so I just uh, looked at Exodus twelve seventeen, and it says it says then they are to take some of the blood and put in the sides and tops of the door frames of the houses where they eat the meat that's roasted and then in verse 23 it says that it will pass over that doorway and he will not permit the destroyer to enter your homes and I just thought that was fabulous because that's how I really felt that day um day three was Philippians and I chose Philippians 2 3 through 5 and it says do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit but in humility consider others better than yourselves um each of you should not look uh not to the interest not to your own but also to the interest of others. And then in verse 5 says your attitude should be that same as that of Christ Jesus. And I just took this. I got the um, faith, faith stamps. And this is Mary. And I just uh, gave her a purple heart because for bravery. Because I think at 14 she definitely had um, the attitude of Christ. She was just willing to sacrifice. And so that was day 3. Day 4 was thanks, and I used Philippians 1, 3 through 5, and I said, I thank my God every time I remember you. Um, in all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I just listed some of the sisters of faith, girlfriends of mine who have um, been with me through the struggle and just have helped me stay faithful. Um, day 5 was rain. And um, I chose Ezekiel 34, 26. It says, I will bless them and the places surrounding my hill. I will send down showers in season. There will be showers of blessing. And I just the thought that on 331, just um, my daughter got ex her acceptance letter from Howard University. So I just felt like that was a blessing, a shower down from heaven. On... Um, Day number six, it was governments and war, and I picked 2 Timothy 2.4. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please his commanding officer, and this was kind of the flip side. It was the soldier in war and how they look at civilian affairs, but I really just believe that um, whew, the way that this presidential election is going... Um, I've been super challenged. Um, I think the last eight years have been some slurs and just the negativity that has been the onslaught of negativity towards um, the president and first lady has been horrific to me. And just, um, you know, for me not to get involved in those things and remember ultimately that God is in control. So I used... Um, one of the Laurel Birch stamps, and it's all these people together. Here, I'll pull it closer, and I kind of colored it in. But just, you know, remembering my, my purpose here. So that was day six. And day seven was fish. Mm -mm. And so I cut out some fish and just whenever I think of fish I think of the calling of the first disciples in Mark 1 which is 16 through 18 but verse 17 says come follow me and I will make you fishers of men and then verse 18 reminds me that at once they left their nets and I think for me especially with um, the, our busy lifestyles right now I can forget about my purpose you know that I'm supposed to be a fisher of men that I'm supposed to be helping others to see Christ. And so just a great reminder um, that I need to be casting my net um, in the busyness of my days. Um, yeah, so that's all. Really, thank you so much. Hope everybody is enjoying this as much as I am. Um, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye.